Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is just a message to everybody. Um, I wanted to first of all say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my YouTube channel and those have, that have been loyal and um, following me ever since the beginning. Um, I'm wearing my PJs because it's cold. It's really cold right now here where I live. Um, but I wanted to let everybody know because a lot of you have been asking about my father's condition. Um, right now he's, we don't know yet. Um, last time we checked, the doctor had found um, new tumors. And so he wants to make sure that they're new tumors or if they were there already. So next month, January, um, they will do another scan to make sure. The thing that worries me is that if he does have new tumors growing, um, doctor wants to put him on this very expensive radiation treatment. I honestly don't want him to have that treatment because he doesn't know about this. My father does not know about this, but that treatment is like stronger than chemotherapy and it will make him sick afterwards. Also that therapy, that radiation therapy, I'm so scared because my father will be like a walking radi radiation person means I have to be careful and stay away from my father and I'm scared about that because if I get close to him after getting the treatment then I become fertile fertile meaning it will damage my eggs and I won't have babies like I won't be able to have kids so it stresses me out people because I don't want him to get that treatment so I'm a little worried. I am a little scared. Um, and then it makes me so mad that a lot of people always tell me, why are you asking for donations? You American people have great insurance. People, we don't. You know who gets great insurance? Hold on, let me, let me, let me get Peluda. Peluda, make the tips. You know who gets great insurance? is immigrants people from other places that come to the united states like let's just say you guys are from i don't know pakistan india middle east um europe whatever you guys come here and you get sick the government will pay for it the government pays everything also um the good insurance from the government is given to people who make less than a thousand a month so people who has an income of a thousand two hundred dollars <laughs> um, a month a thousand two hundred or less that they make a month they qualify for medical or um, you know government health insurance or whatever and that insurance covers everything everything you don't pay nothing out of your pocket and I try to put my mom and dad in that insurance. And nope, they make too much money. They don't make too much money. My dad is retired. My mom is not working. You know what I mean? It's just so unfair because people that work or people that have the money, they don't qualify for that. So if you have money, you have to get your insurance and you have to pay a lot of money for your insurance. And the insurance doesn't cover everything. So, in my father's case, because he's 73, he has Medicare, which all people over 65 gets it here automatically. So if you have a mom or an aunt or somebody that's over 65 and you bring them over here to the United States, they get Medicare like that. Um, they pay for some, and then my father has another insurance that he pays like $500 a month. $500 a month he pays for insurance. 
and it only pays 80% of the stuff. So, if, um, let's just say he gets a $10,000 treatment, he, he has to pay $8,000, no, $2,000. Well, every month he gets treatment for his cancer and it's about, his, his treatment is $45,000. So, every month we pay about three, four $4,000. That's a lot, people. That's a lot. Not a lot of people have that money. So, um, I, I help them out whenever I can financially, but sometimes I'm stuck with nothing. So that's why I wanted to explain that to people that insurance here in America does not pay for everything. Unless you are poor, I don't want to say it like that, it's like really bad. Unless you're poor or you don't have, you only make a thousand dollars a month a year. But anyways, the point at the end, what I want to say people is, um, that's why I have the donations here. Also, um, the extra donations, of course, for me, for my music, because I really want to record, I really want to do... Um, studio recording and you know I want to like record my violin in the real studio so that I can upload them in iTunes and stuff but inshallah one day inshallah 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 um, another thing people is I want you to pray please pray that my father will not get that treatment please pray that his cancer is not worse please pray that he is the same or He's better. I really, really want you guys to all pray, please. Um, because next month, at the end of next month, I have to go to Dubai and to work and I'm afraid to leave my father. So um, that's why I'm so stressful. Like I'm stressing and I'm worrying and oh, it's horrible. But I'm, I'm hanging in there, people. I'm hanging in there and I'm thinking positive and um, Alhamdulillah, everything, we're fine, as of now, Alhamdulillah, but that's basically it, people, I just wanted to explain what was going on with my father, inshallah, 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 he'll be better, but anyways, I'll do a reaction tomorrow, for now, you guys, all take care, I love you, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you all that follow me in the social medias, the other social medias, um, I don't look at messages. I know I have like thousands of like indirect messages. I don't see them all people. I, I try but there's just so many. And I try to respond to some of them and some of them it's just ugh, I still have a lot I haven't, I haven't finished. So just know that I, I, I appreciate it and I'm thankful and grateful. And um, have a good Like I love you all for that. Okay? Until next time people.